So I have a unified AP proof, uh, AP that I want to reset to factory default. So you will need um, a power supply PoE injector. It's connected to your computer. And then from there, this one is connected to your computer. And this one it will go to your AP. So currently it's been configured, but I want to factory reset the default. So by doing that, you need to press and hold this reset button. So just make sure they have a power. So we just there's currently power level power. So just hold down this button. You should be able to hear the click sound. You can feel it when you place it down. You hold it down at least 15 seconds in order to fully factory reset to factory default settings. Then you'll be able to reconfigure this AP, no problems. I'll show you after this. So it's been about 15 seconds. Release the button. You will see this light restart, flashing on and off. And we'll restart it. Cool. Alright, we'll go and have a look and see if we can access to this one without having to uh, redo, redo it again. Cool. Using your uh, book browser go to the um, search for uh, download and click on download after that go to the unify AP AC Pro this one here on your model so my one is this one this is the latest one click on that okay, accept it download So after that, just go to your download folder, um, click on download, depends where you set the installation file, double click unify installation, okay. and just click continue or run. next so it required JavaScript so it's click OK OK so some of your some of your computer it does require JavaScript so it's click OK make sure you have internet connection And then go to the link, download Java. And open and install. Click install now. Minimize or close your browser.
okay you java have successfully installed the browser and if you run the unify program again Um, just before you install your Unify installation, or just set up your um, TCP IP to whatever. In my case, I just put 192.168.2.5 as a um, default machine. Default gateway doesn't really matter. Button in minus 255, 255.255.0. Click OK. Click OK again, go to installation. Any my set, close that. Ready, so just leave it as it is, click finish. Your Nidhi file will start launching. Just be patient, it's coming up now. Here we are. So it's going to search for the net local network, which is I have connected to my machine. It's just for the initial setup before you connect it to your um, broadband fiber. So this is, I would select them all and then just go allow or leave as default. I just leave it. Select both. So in some cases, you might need to turn off your power wall, but um, it should be okay with this. So look like it's counted. So now launch a browser to manage your network. So click on that. Um, ideally, you want to use, you go to advanced, so you get warning that just ignore it, and then continue with local, and now here we are, so it brought up the first home page, you got to do three, six steps according to this, name your network application, you just go unify home, Whatever you want to name, um, and then you instead of by select this, you agree the licenses. You click, click that. Um, if you have a backup already pre-configured, you can restore from this option. In this case, I'm doing from scratch, so I just go next. Now, if you have access to if you have already signed up with Unify account, you can just enter this option, but I want to use that as a standalone. So just go switch to advanced setup. Uh, advanced setup, you have, you can enable remote access or you can use your local account access. In, in this video, I was gonna turn off all of them. So you can manage your local Account. So by turning off both option option, so this one you can your administrator account is anything you can name it. Um, I'll just put admin and then whatever password you configure. Okay, you can leave as it is, 
your email address um, just your personal email address so just go my email whatever yeah and this is just a dem um, for video purpose so this email does not exist existing you go next you can enable auto backup I'll just leave it enable auto backup turn on so we go next and so it's detected um, 192.168.1.20 so just go to select that one you can check the the MAC address make sure it's matched to um, in case you have two of them and in, in my case I have two of them here so just double check make sure it, it is correct one so go next now your um, SSID is um, I would name it my Wi-Fi and then password is um, ideally I want to combine them all so if you are in the range you might pick up or you can choose just 5G only or 2G so it's up to your option I just rather have both of them turn on so go next okay so you have successfully configured your unify AP so you from here you can reconfigure you can see all your access point and also the clients so we'll have another video later about this configuration for now, hope you enjoyed the videos. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and see you next time.